Hello everyone, I am Caroline Fleur and today I want to talk to you about something I call instant clutter. It may have happened to you. You think you have the house put together, you like when things are put away, but you turn around and all of a sudden it just looks wrecked. This is what happens to me and my family all the time, if not every single day. So what is instant clutter and how do we get rid of it? <laughs> and at the end of the video, I will give you two tips that I use to help keep my house tidy as well. As you know, this is the Food Allergy Nation and my son has multiple food allergies. So is it the fault of food allergies? Sadly, no, I can't blame them, but it does have something to do with my level of distraction. All of us have things going on in our lives, especially if you have a chronic condition, like a medical condition, food allergies, something that occupies your thoughts off and on all day long, you are going to be a little bit distracted when that happens. It could also be something going on at work. Maybe you have a project at work and it's really taking a lot of your attention or you're in college and you have finals coming up. It is normal and makes sense that while you're going about your day-to-day -day activities, certain things are in the back of your mind. So I've realized, at least for myself, when my mind is at least partially elsewhere, I'm a little more distracted as I carry out my day-to-day -day activities, that's when clutter sneaks up on me. I might not be as good at putting away my makeup once I get ready, or putting my dishes in the dishwasher versus just setting them by the sink and leaving them. And then guess what? There they are when I get back later. And it's a classic distracted move for me to rush in the door from being gone and set my keys and whatever I've carried inside down wherever I am. Maybe it's by the door. Maybe it's on the other side of the couch. Maybe it's over on the table. I don't know. It's only when I need something and I can't find it, I have to go search the house for it. But I was just partially distracted and not thinking about what I needed to do with my belongings. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, but it can get frustrating when you can't find things. So what was my big solution to decrease the clutter? Good habits. That has helped me so much. Most of the time I am focused on what I'm doing. And during those times, I have started following through with good habits. For example, when I get ready in the morning, immediately put my makeup in the cabinet where it goes. It takes all of five seconds and I do it every time. Close the cabinet, move on. When I walk in the front door now, I literally go straight to the table by the door and I leave my keys, my purse, and anything I have in my hands right there. Of course, if I have stuff that goes in the refrigerator, that's cold, it needs to go in the refrigerator, but you get what I'm saying. If I'm wearing a coat or jacket, I immediately put it in the coat closet that moment because it's going to take a second for me to set it on the couch or some other random place anyway. I might as well just open the closet door put it on a hanger and put it inside. It takes all of five seconds. So I've started doing that. What I've noticed for myself is practicing those good habits has helped me during those times when my mind is elsewhere and I'm partially distracted. I'm not focusing on what I'm doing, but I have done it enough times that I just come in and do it without thinking. I may not remember putting my makeup away, but when I go upstairs, it's in the cabinet where it should go. Because even though I was a little bit distracted, it's almost like my muscle memory is kicking in from all these good habits and it's following through with what I would want to do if I had been paying attention. <laughs> now, it's not a guarantee, of course, but for me personally, it has helped a lot. I have noticed a decrease in clutter, a decrease in stress for me because it does drive me crazy. And so I'm happy with it. I mean, I suggest you try it. Mm -hmm. And now as promised, let me give you two quick tips that I use to keep my house clean on top of the decluttering that's always going on. One tip is at night before bed, if I'm not too tired, I will do a quick 10 minute tidy up process. It's not deep cleaning, it's nothing hard, but I will spend about 10 minutes just putting up anything that I see out. If I need to change out the dishwasher, start the dishwasher, I'll do that. And pick up anything that I could just see in my line of sight that's out of place. 10 minutes of that and then when I wake up in the morning, everything's put away and I don't have to worry about it. So you'd be surprised at how much you can pick up in 10 minutes. And my second tip for keeping the house clean has to do with my husband and son leaving their stuff all over the house and it was starting to get on my nerves. I admit it, I knew it wasn't the crime of the century, but at some point 
How many socks does a human own? Why are people wearing so many socks? And then why are they just ending up on the floor? What's going on? So I got an idea from a friend that if I found dirty clothes, then whoever it belonged to had to give me a one minute shoulder massage right then and there. So that helped because then when I saw things out of place or on the ground, I would grab them up quick so I could say, time for my one minute massage. <laughs> so what about you? Do you have any strategies for how to keep clutter out of your house or at least keep it to a minimum? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you have watched the video this far, thank you so much. And I wanna remind you that I have a book out called Destiny and Other Dilemmas. It is a women's fiction and contemporary romance, and it has a beautiful cover, so it makes a really nice gift for a friend. And if you would like to hear the first chapter, you can go to my website and listen to the first chapter. I read it myself. I'll put the link in the comment section below. And after that, if you wanna know what happens in chapter two and the rest of the book, you can buy it and find out for yourself. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, bye.